friends this is leela welcome to my channel leela web dev we have understood now about the document object model now we will learn about the another concept in the javascript that is browser object model shortly we will call it as then bomb so what is the what is this browser object model and what is the benefit of this one and what does this provides let's try to see so now we have seen about the console object so in, uh, in the browser in the console we have written console.log console.dir so like this we have used it so that means console object so the console object gives you the access to the browser console so the console object means the console the console is an object and in this object you will be having the methods and the properties like log dir like this so this one will give you access to the browser console so this browser console allows the developers to log certain results or alerts or warnings to the screen so if you want to print any warnings or alerts or any results so this console will allow us to log those messages for the developers how did we have that method methods available to us so these console methods and all the things we have seen it right how does these all the things available to us so we you need to understand about the window object so this console method how did we get available is because of the window object so now that means the console is a part of the window object so think of this window as the root element okay so this console method and all those things is provided by the window object so that means the console is a part of the window object so then what is this window object so we have understood that window object is the root element of the website and this window has the access to the dom that is nothing but a document and apart from the document we also have something like navigator history location so like this we we have so many things available in the window object right so exactly what is this window object and who provides this window object so window object is supplied by what is known as the browser object model we can or we can short c say as the bomb so this window object is provided by the browser object model so that is shortly called as a bomb so that is the main thing you need to understand bomb that means browser object model allows the javascript to talk to the browser about things other than the content of the web page so if you want to access the content of the web page then we will be using the document but this browser object model allows the javascript to talk to the browser so whatever the browser we are using so whether it may be a chrome firefox or edge or anything the bomb allows javascript to talk to the browser about the things other than the content of the web page so that means about the address bar about the browser operating system about the browser software and these all the things it will provide this bomb will provide okay the content of the web page and all the things the hierarchy comes under the dom so now next javascript can also interact directly with what the users looking at on the web page i already told you right the dom thing so javascript not only interacts the these things window they can it can also javascript can also interact directly with the content of the web page there is also other information that the browser window gives us so window gives us the access to content of the web page other than that there is also some other information that the browser gives us through the window to the javascript where javascript can access it so what is that other information i already told you right navigator screen location history storage so local storage session storage this type of storage is there right these all the things will be provided by the window objects and this window object is provided by the bomb so that is nothing but a browser object model now you need to understand that the window object is the root element of the whole website so the window object is the root element of the whole website the window provides broadly two categories okay two broad categories of functionality to us so window has two broad categories of functionality the first one is the document the dom document means it's like like the website like title on the screen buttons we can click on etc so this is one category the window will give us access to the document so that we can access the dom hierarchy so how the browser places these all the uh, elements html elements and all those things in the dom hierarchy so you can access the dom 
like titles and uh, elements buttons like that you can access it and the another type of category is just what we have discussed right navigation location screen history storage these are all the things comes under other category the uh, which we have already discussed it so these are the two categories so one is the document and another one is the other things which the browser gives you access like location navigation these are all the things now we understood exactly what the window object is and each bro and you need to understand another thing also each browser tab has its own window object the browser will have so many tabs right each tab has its own window object when you got two different tabs open in your browser so if you got two different tabs open in your browser they can't share each other objects so different tabs if you are having two tabs in the browser means first tab will have a window object and second tab will also have a window object entirely different to each other they can't share the, the these two window objects they can't share each other so that is also one of the important thing you need to understand it the one has a window object and the other also has an window object that is entirely different window object the first tab also has a window object and another also has an entirely different window object the other thing worth mentioning is that there is no standards for the browser object model so no browser object model means it provides the window object so these all the things we have understood right but there is no particular standards for defining this browser object model each browser has their own defined browser object model so microsoft edge will provide another type of bomb chrome has another implementation like that we will be having so there is no a particular there is no particular standards for the browser object model we know like for javascript okay so javascript we know that we have got the standards like ecmascript well there are no standards for the bom and the html document dom hierarchy so each one has their own unique way of implementation of this bom and the dom but the javascript we have a standards we got the standards like ecmascript standards but for the bom and this dom we don't have any particular standards for this one so normally what you can do so you can access the window object properties using dots dots means window dot window dot document window dot location window dot navigation so like this if you want to access access the properties that are present in the window object you need to access it using the dots as you already know the object uh, different we can uh, differentiate using the dot thing so that means window dot console is how we can access the console object if you try to observe so if you want to access the console object means uh, you need to use it something like window dot console if you remember we haven't typed the window dot console we just type only the console so for window objects for window objects directly so there is no need to type the window so pre pre as a prefix there is no need to type always the window dot window dot there is no need for window objects so that is the reason for document you can write directly document or otherwise window dot document also you can write it as this object uh, property belongs to the window there is no need to type window window dot location so there is no need to type the window dot location you can directly type location so storage local storage you can also type window dot local storage or otherwise you can directly access the local storage so there is no need to add prefix window all the time for direct window objects so this is all about the bomb browser object model so the browser bomb object model provides us the window object which is the king so which is the king means which is the root element for the whole website hope you understood about this browser object model if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.